Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel to sell your products. It's actually really easy. We're going to create another funnel together. Simply click create and this time we're going to call it sales funnel and then select sell a product or service. But remember, you can choose any one of these funnel templates and edit it after that. This is just a template. I'm going to choose the US dollar as the currency and then save to create. Now you'll see that the default steps for this funnel template are an order form and a thank you page. As I said before, this is just a template and you can add any step that you like. Now let's select an order form template. I like this one and quickly select one for the thank you page as well. Back to the order form. An order form is pretty much a payment or a checkout page. This is where people who are visiting your website can enter their payment details and buy your products. To accept payments from your customers, you need to connect your payment gateways like Stripe, or PayPal in the account settings. After that, you'll see them by clicking here on funnel settings. I have all my payment gateways activated for this funnel, but you can choose to deactivate them if you want. As you can see here, you can set the affiliate commission for this order form. This is useful when you have affiliates of your own promoting your products. More on that in a future video. Here you can set a sales limit, which is the number of payments that this order form will accept until it redirects to another page. A cool feature if you plan to run a limited offer to your audience. Now, let's set up the product we want to sell. We have digital product or physical product. We'll set up a physical product in a future video. So for now, let's go with digital product. Let's create our first product and name it product one. Next, let's choose the resources that our customers will get access to when they make the purchase. We have several options here. We can choose a course, a course bundle, which is a collection of multiple courses, tags that we can add to the customer, communities that we can grant access to, and calendar events where people can pay to schedule a call or an appointment with you. Don't worry, we'll learn how to create and sell each one of these resources in future videos. For now, let's choose tags and select customers. This means that people will be tagged customers when they pay through your page. You might be wondering, well, what will people will get then? If they're going to be just tagged and for that we'll use the automation rules tab we'll get to that in a moment we go next to create the price plan to specify the amount and the frequency of the payment first you can give the price plan a name that will be displayed on the page for people to see a name that you will see on your dashboard and a payment descriptor which is a short description that will be displayed on the bank statement alongside the payment amount then let's choose the payment type we have one-time payment subscription so that people will pay a certain amount each period of your choosing or payment plan which is a subscription where you get to choose the number of payments to be made i'll choose one time payment and set the amount to 20. lastly you can set the tax behavior to either inclusive or exclusive this is only if you decide to charge tax for your products now that everything is set up let's save our digital product is now ready now let's go to the automation rules tab so we can send our customers an email containing their purchase product. Since this page is an order form, you can see that the triggers are different from the ones we saw with the opt-in page. I'll select new sale and then add a new action, send email. This means that the customer will receive an email as soon as the payment is processed. Let's create a new email, add the subject, here's your product, and write whatever we want here. Next, let's attach the file. In this example, I'm going to attach a PDF file to send to customers, but you can send them any file that you wish to sell. Let's save the email and then save the rule. And just like that, and within a few minutes, our sales funnel is now set and ready to sell. In the next video, I'll show you how you can send and manage emails with System.io. See you guys soon.